hi guys welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if this is the first video that you're seeing of me my name is taylor i make content about digital illustrations kind of giving you guys my tips and tricks how to do this tutorials stuff like that and i also do some bullet journaling content so if you're into that you can check out my other videos and subscribe if you want and i also have an instagram where i post a ton of random stuff, digital illustrations, inspiring stuff, bullet journals. I post on my stories every day there. So if you want more creative content, um, you can follow me on there. But anyways, today's video. Okay, you guys have been asking for this for so long. I am finally doing a video about shading. You guys always roast me for doing long intros. So I think that's all I have to say. You guys can leave video requests down below in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram. I always reply to comments, always respond to DMs. So you will get a response from me. So let me know what you guys want to see and I would love to make a whole video dedicated to you. Anyways, okay, I'm talking way too long again. Let's get right in to the tutorial. Hi guys, I always forget to mention this, but I wanted to say that I use my iPhone and my finger to draw everything that you see on my Instagram in this photo, everything. I don't have an iPad, I don't have an Apple Pencil. The app that I use is Adobe Draw, link to download it down below. It, I'm pretty sure it works on Android, not sure because I don't have one, but I've heard that it does. And um, it's a free app, so had to disclaim all of that because I always forget to say it. So enjoy the video. Okay, so first thing I'm doing is color matching her skin tone. I kind of mess around with the colors a little bit on this. It's just hard to get a nice, like, skin tone color that matches and looks good. Um, and I am just doing that very darkest part of her hand first. I always like to do the shades, for, or not the shades, like the the shadows. That's what I mean, the shadows first. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm like messing around with the colors and stuff, just trying to get a good color. Now I'm taking my tapered brush and a even darker brown color and I'm just tracing the lines on the knuckles, like the little wrinkles where the knuckles are. And taking that same color, I'm outlining just that shadow on the knuckles on the hand. I mess around with the colors all throughout this video, so if you see the colors randomly changing, I'm just trying different shades. Another important thing are these little creases on the inside of the finger. They really like completely change like how the hand looks and just add so much dimension to the hand. So those are really important. I'm using that same color that I use on the knuckles for that as well. Um, you will notice a huge difference even if you just incorporate that into your drawings. Now I'm taking a little bit of a lighter color, but it's still um, a shadow and I'm drawing just on those darker parts of the fingers. Obviously you can see where there's the lighter part where the light's hitting and then the darker part where it's shadowed. And I'm just, you can barely see the line cause it's so small. I'm taking the smallest pen and I just filled it in. And now you can kind of see it better where the shadow is. And I'm just doing that for all the fingers in the same color, um, just where the light isn't hitting the fingers. Now that I finished the shadows on each finger, um, there's you can see that little line between the two fingers that are kind of touching. And I'm just taking that darkest um, brown color that we used and I am filling that in just so you can see the, the um, definition between the two fingers as you can see. All right, and now for the highlights, I'm taking just a little bit lighter of a color. And of course, I'm just drawing a very thin line around all the parts of the finger that are highlighted and just drawing that line around them and then I will fill them all in.
So here I'm just like messing around again with the colors. I didn't like how they were looking. I was just adjusting like the different tones and how light and dark the different colors were. So you got to do that a lot when you're working with shading. At least I do. Um, I always have to mess around with them, change them like 10 different times to get the right color like vibe that I want. And I'm going to teach you guys how I do the nails. I'm just using this indigo color because it's like my favorite color right now. But I'm just tracing exactly how the nails look. Um, kind of taking into account if they have any natural highlights or shadows. These ones really don't because the lighting wasn't that harsh. But sometimes you will get like a natural sheen or shadow on the nails. Now I am just working on some highlights and shadows on her nails. I love how like a nice highlighted and just shaded nail looks. I think it adds so much to the photo. So even though her nails in this picture don't have that many natural highlights or shadows, I still wanted to add some. There's really like no explaining it or like a technique um really I'm just kind of doing whatever I want just trying to make it look good. Just trying to add just a little extra you know detail to the photo. So Go ahead and watch me do that. <laughs> And now we are basically finished. I am just adding in that white background and just putting all the finishing touches on there, fixing up all of my messy edges, um, rounding things out, getting rid of any mishaps or like mistakes that I made, and just adding some last minute details. So I'll let you guys watch me do that. you guys that was the shading tutorial i hope that you learned something i hope that you found some tips and tricks follow me on instagram to see all the stuff that i post on there all the behind the scenes on my stories and stuff like that um, i post all the time on there and i always reply to dms so if you want to chat if you have a question if you have a video request hit me up on instagram or you can comment down below i always respond to the comments give this video a like if you liked it or if you found it helpful and subscribe for more tutorials i will see you guys on instagram Instagram or in my next video. Bye.